Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Parkside Cabin Rentals. The New Year's right around the corner. And if you're in need of a post-Christmas de-stressing, you think of Christmas, we'll de-stress you. But if you're around family long enough, it can go the other way. So if you need a post-Christmas de-stressing, visit ParksideCabinRentals.com to find and pick out the perfect cabin in the wintry Smoky Mountains for you and yours. Weekday prices are always terrific, too. ParksideCabinRentals.com. All right, as I said, this is a new segment. I read a player's name. These guys give me a quick one sentence or so reaction. It can be he needs to do this better or man, he's, he's impressed me here, wherever you want to go. Isaiah, I'll start with you. Kennedy Chandler. Kennedy Chandler fits the bill. Um, he runs the team well. I mean, he can shoot, he can get to the basket. I do want to see him use his mid-range game more. I think uh, he's either shooting a three or going all the way in there and he does he is capable of having a mid-range game. He needs to use it more, especially against Arizona with the, the big bigs they have. Very good. All right. Mark, Olivier Camois. Uh, the improved key. I mean, he, he's a guy that has, has greatly improved. But to me, interior, inside, his versatility, uh, this team in a lot of ways is going to go how he goes uh, with his improvement the rest of the year. Needs more improvement. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. improved, but you need more out of him. Yep. Against better teams. Yeah. So. Yep. Jimmy. And I, this is the way I learned to pronounce it initially, and I'm going to keep doing it, Santiago Vescovi. <laughs> well, let's talk about Bob. Uh, <laughs> uh, Vescovi, I guess. Uh, he's a more all-around player than he was. Look, in the past, I thought if he wasn't hitting threes, he wasn't going to be much help because I thought he was a defensive liability. Uh, now, if he's not hitting threes, he leads the team in steals. He's not getting himself caught in turnover situations as much as he used to. He's a quicker player, a better overall player. I think he can impact the game now even if he's not hitting three. So I think he's become a more complete player. Chuck, John Fulkerson. Well, I'll tell you what, I think he's the heart and soul of your basketball program. I think he's like three games from setting the school record for career starts. Uh, it's easy to say that you wish he could get more touches, but he does so much. Even if he's not hitting a shot, he can get rebounds. I wonder how healthy he's been. And I think that's going to be a real key for him because I think he's dealt with a lot of things other than just a thumb. All right. Speaking of guy who had some health issues earlier, Isaiah, uh, Josiah Jordan-James. Uh, I think about the leader of the team when I think about him. He's always in the right spots. He's helping the young players a lot, but he's got to play better himself. Uh, he's battling some injuries. That's going to happen. Uh, he's out there. He's got to do better numbers than he's doing. And it could be just, just play harder. Just go after some rebounds. Don't even focus on the scoring, which he's kind of passive scoring anyway. Maybe try to get to the rim, get to the free throw line, get some easy buckets. But yeah, we got we got to get a little more production from him. All right, Mark Pankratz, let me ask you, Sakai Ziegler. Uh, quick impact. I mean, you've seen his quickness. Uh, he helped us in that North Carolina game. But, but his quickness, not only on the defensive end, getting into spots, but in practice every day, I can't tell you how much impact he is having on Kennedy Chandler's development because he pushes him every day and guarding him in one-on-one -on -one situations. So he's been a big surprise for this team so, thus far. Chuck Cavalleris, let me ask you, Victor Bailey. Victor Bailey, I wish we could have gotten more out of the position he plays. I know his minutes may be down a little. I would like to see him pass first when he comes into the game. I think sometimes he comes in looking to fire up those threes and he can be cold. I also think he needs to be your most tenacious defender. That's how he can get more minutes. All right. Jimmy, Brandon Huntley Hatfield. Needs to play more minutes and needs to be more aggressive. I, I see a guy that's got a, a lot of potential. He's one of the strongest players on the team, even though he's a freshman. I think he can be an answer inside for you, whether it's rebounding, whether it's defense, or whether it's scoring. I think he's got a lot of potential. They need to uh, increase his level of productivity in a hurry by getting more minutes. That would help. But I, I think he could be a guy that could be impactful for Tennessee the second half of the year. I'll give this one to everyone. I'll start with Mark, but everybody can jump in with some comment if they want. So far... Rick Barnes. Uh, adjustments, uh, and I keep using one word, but adjustments, but he, he's changed some things in the past. He's given Kennedy Chandler, put in more ball screens. He's not been a ball screen offensive type coach. He's done more of that this year. Um, but rotations, Brandon Huntley Hatfield's a guy I think needs to play more. Justin Powell needs to play more. He's shot 44% from three-point land in SEC play last year at another school. He opens up the court for so many more people. And then adjustments. Um, looking at zone sometimes, do we utilize the depth that we have to do to make uh, pressure, uh, put press the uh, opponent, um, double team down on the bigs? So what adjustments are we making? Um, but all in all, he's he's made a lot of positive uh, adjustments, but I think we need to do more. Anybody else on Rick Barnes? 
I think it's interesting in, uh, along the adjustments. Tennessee started the year <clears throat> by attempting 43s in their exhibition games, their preseason scrimmages, whatever. That's been scaled back a lot. Now, some of that happened when John Fulkerson was out. But I think that tells you that he's given the team more freedom to shoot threes. Although, I don't think Tennessee is at its best when they're shooting 43s. I think the sweet spot is between 20 and 30. Obviously, need to be hitting some of those. But I, I think he's opened up the offense a little bit in that regard. I'm fine with shooting 40 on the nights when they're hitting. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> hit 20 the problem is there's nights when you're <laughs> against Texas Tech when you can't, hit the, you can't drop a ball out of a boat into the water. That's the night you don't need to be putting up some minutes. Chuck? Well, I think the tough thing is, could this be the most talented top-to-bottom basketball roster in school history? It certainly has to be one of them. I want to get Isaiah's take on well, that. Well, I mean, from, from <laughs> I'm talking from top to bottom. I'm talking 10 or 12 guys. I know Barnes says he's comfortable playing that many, or at least 10. I think a lot of programs have to shorten that down and, and start going with guys that are producing. Man, talent is only going to get you so far. You need to have a dog. And we don't have a guy that plays on the edge. You're talking about Josiah. Like, we need somebody. Fulkerson does it, but he don't have that next level of a guy that's just going to rough it up. And, and that's what – we have talent, but we don't have that guy that's going to go get a, a grinded out, dirty play, legally dirty right. play. But, like, grinded out type of thing um, to, to, let, to put the opponent on, on, their, on their heels. Isaiah? Uh, yeah, I, I feel like that's what we need. You, the quicker you turn it into a dog fight, the better. You do X's and O's, you do all these plays, and you try to get open shots. And I, I think Coach Barnes has done a good job of opening the offense up. And we're actually getting pretty good threes, which means we probably need to shoot more threes in practice. Because uh, you're getting these open looks, and you got guards miss, missing open threes. We're not shooting enough. All right. Two more months. Two more months to get yourself in order for the March tournament. So. We'll be talking uh, in the next few weeks with Isaiah and Mark. Appreciate both of you coming in. Hope both of you have a really good Christmas. Thanks. You too, man. Thank you very much. And uh, when we come back, we're going to bring out a couple of football analysts as we talk about Tennessee's surprising top 15 recruiting class. We talk about the transfer portal. We talk about Hendon Hooker's return. A lot of stuff to come on the Sports Source. Come on back. Whoa, you know Christmas time is coming now, baby. Tell me those Santa Claus gonna come to you.